After spending eight months driving around North America in our van Vincent, we've decided to start a ground up van conversion. In the middle of COVID-19. Last week, we put in our subfloor. This week, we're framing and insulating our van. Hey guys, it's Haley and Jake, and welcome to week eight of our van build. It's another beautiful day on the Sunshine Coast. Haley is still gone this week, but she'll return in our next video. We have a very busy week planned. We have finally scheduled our spray foaming, but we have a lot of work to do before then. And then we have to take the van to Squamish when all this is ready, tape off everything we don't want spray foamed, and get the van spray foamed. Finley and I are then going to spend the day in Squamish, and then we're going to pick up Haley the day after. We're super excited for this week. Let's get started. If you guys thought we were going a little bit slow with the van build, keep watching. It's going to be a busy day. <laughs> so we spent all morning figuring out how we're going to frame this top part here. We finally figured it out, but it's taking a really long time. It'd be a lot easier if we had all the bolts and screws we needed here. Because we don't, we're just attaching everything with wood screws. Then I'm gonna have to take it down and redo everything when we get to Vancouver. Now we're redoing the back, and this one's gonna be a little more tricky because we're cutting out a notch where our head and feet are gonna be at the bed. So the next step is to take these two supports out because we're putting a window there. But I'm a little hesitant to take those supports out. So we'll take two out and we'll see how the window looks. Okay. Here we're removing the strut. Came off very nicely. How did you feel about that, Jake? Yeah, it came off okay. Um, ripped the hole in the top one. Okay, we managed to get the struts out. Uh, when I took out some of the welds, it tore the metal a little bit. So I double checked with a friend of mine, and just to make sure these don't crack in the future, we are going to drill out the holes so that there's no uh, cracks, and it should be good. My biggest tip for this entire video is if you don't try to cut the welds and just hit the metal with a chisel, it comes off like butter. Way better, no tearing. I think that's the end of our first day. We have all the wood cut for all the framing, I think. We just need to figure out how to mount the strips to the ceiling tomorrow. Then we need to clean everything up, run some electric electrical cables, and then we'll have to reinstall all this when we get to Vancouver. Well, that seemed to have worked. No more nails and a piece of plywood. It's on there pretty solidly. We're starting to get some of the pieces in. So the progress of gluing these to the ceiling is working well. Um, I tried a couple different methods here. This one, I put two wet ones on at once and used wood to stack it up. This one, actually, I put one on yesterday and then screwed the glue on today. And then these guys here were clapping and then when they're done, we're going to glue them to the ceiling. And while I'm waiting for that stuff to cure, I'm gonna use this spray foam and spray foam under the floor. I have no idea how far one of these cans will go and they're single use. So hopefully I'm gonna do the floor and maybe a few other spots. 
One entire can of expanding foam later. It's smoking hot. So while this spray foam and no more nails cures, we're gonna go to the beach, come back and keep on with the roof. Hey guys, we are back in White Rock. We've got all the hardware we need. We've got our cross nuts, we got a bunch of bolts. So, I've never saw these before. Gonna give it a shot, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. This piece just split. So here's hoping it stays up long enough to hold that up and doesn't crash on my head. So the reason we had to come back to Vancouver for this and we couldn't frame is because we were waiting for these guys. This is called a cross nut and you put it in a hole and then you pull it back and the ends flare so that you can thread into the hole and get at it for one side. We wanted to use these because we're spray foaming and we never didn't know if we'd be able to get at the back after we spray foamed it for a normal nut. So we're using these. The first thing I'd like to do is test on a piece of wood because I never put one of these in and see how if I can do it. Okay, let's try a 3 8 drill bit and see if it works. Perfect. Okay. I spent about two solid hours trying to figure out how to get these cross nuts to work. Um, here's the way that it actually worked. You get a bolt, cross nut, washer, nothing but a wrench, washer, and a bolt. And then you just tighten the head and it actually works. So two hours down the drain, but it seems to be working. This is what we managed to get done last night. The biggest learning curve was learning how to install these cross nuts. They're all installed on this side now. Holes are, are resized if needed and it's painted. Let's get started. This is looking so good. So happy with this. Just gotta finish off the left side, which I haven't done any of, and we'll be good. So here's how to install a cross nut. This took me probably two hours to figure out. So what you do is you put a nut, you get a washer, you get a wrench, you get a washer, and you get a bolt, and then you stick it in. And then while holding the wrench, you need to crank down on this uh, with a socket and you have to make sure that the nut does not spin. If the nut spins, you have to kind of pull back, create some pressure. I can't do it with one hand holding the camera, but that's how you do it. Or you could do what we didn't do. You could buy the tool. It was recommended we don't buy it by the salesman, but at this point, I would like anything that would make this easier. First couple pieces I drilled, I had a bit of a hard time lining up all the holes because there's well, bolt holes everywhere and they're all different heights. So what I ended up doing is running a piece of tape over all the bolts where the piece of wood's going. I'm going to mark each bolt location and mark the bottom of the wood. And then I'm going to put the tape on the wood and drill the holes. 
It has worked way better so far on the way of doing it before. It's probably half of the time for me to get these pieces of wood up. This thing looks money. My brother came over and with his help, we got the rest of the framing done. Next step is to go to Home Depot, pick up the last couple of things we need. Uh, we want to run some wires for our lighting and our fan, as well as get some cardboard and maybe some supports for the windows. But everything is coming together now. It's about six o'clock and Home Depot is open till about nine. We have to be in Squamish at eight. So it's coming together. Two hours later, fully prepped. Do not try to prep your van yourself. I got about two hours of help here and it looks awesome, but this is a way better job than I would have done. Hey guys, everything is done with the van. Well, the preparation is done with the van. Um, we're next in line to be spray foam, but the current van will probably take another hour, hour and a half. And that took about two hours of prep and the guys at Van Gogh were a huge help. I didn't even know the level we needed to go to or what really to do. I would have just put up some drop sheets, so getting the professionals to actually help you is definitely the way to go. Now we're just going to go get some food, we're pretty tired, and then go back and wash our van be spray foam. Okay, got some food, got some water. Now let's get the van done. Well, the van is officially being spray foamed. I let, would have liked to film the process, but um, because of wind, it's in a closed bay and you can't go in there without a respirator and a hazmat suit. We are heading into town, leaving the van with the professionals. We're gonna check out our hotel and then check out Squamish. And tomorrow morning, we are going to pick up the van. Hey guys, I got to the hotel and passed out for a bit. It's like 6.30 now, I'm gonna get some dinner. Finley's here, he's being awesome. And that's it for the day. We're going to have a chill night and then go get the van in the morning. See ya. Yeah, so what they were doing this morning is they, they they cleaned all the floor, they scraped everything off the walls and the ceiling, and they kind of cleaned everything. <laughs> that looks awesome! Well, there you have it. Our van is framed and insulated. And I'm back. And Haley's back. <laughs> <laughs> we're super happy with our decision to get it spray foam professionally. We're really happy with how it turned out. Uh, we can already hear a difference in sound quality and we can feel a difference in the structural stability of the van. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Oh, definitely <laughs> just walked into the door. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you like following along, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an uh, episode. It's also the easiest way to support our channel. We put videos out every Wednesday. Yep. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.